This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, we reached the halfway mark for 2024 as Friday concluded the second quarter. The S&P 500 hit yet again an all-time record high earlier this week while surging over 15% year-to-date, far exceeding analyst full-year expectations. In May, inflation reached its lowest annual rate in over three years. The Federal Reserve's preferred inflation measure remained virtually unchanged, aligning with expectations and bringing the year-over-year increase to 2.6%. This progress supports our belief that inflation will continue to moderate towards the Fed's 2% target. Now, consumer sentiment for June was higher than anticipated, with the University of Michigan index rising and a one-year inflation outlook dropping. Now, consumers are employed. Inflation is moderating. Consumer debt levels relative to income remain low. Although spending habits have shifted towards travel rather than home improvements, consumer spending remains robust. This weekend, the number of U.S. air travelers hit a new record. The two big winners of the first half was the large cap growth index up over 20 percent, driven by excitement around artificial intelligence, and the Alarian Energy Pipeline Index up over 17 percent, and it still yields close to 5 percent. AI stocks also boosted the performance of the capitalization-weighted S&P which rose 15%, while the Dow and the equally weighted S&P increased by only 5%. Now, while big positions and movers like tech and energy attract attention, it's always risky to chase what's popular. Wealth creation is about accumulating the most shares of an investment before it becomes popular. You know, the process of buying low and compounding interest and dividends primarily drives returns of your portfolio over time. Not to mention the stocks that are lagging the capitalization-weighted S&P this year also pay the highest dividends. As a reminder, this is an election year, and historically, election year's returns are positive, usually back-end loaded and often extremely volatile. Markets hate uncertainty, and after last week's debate, it appears election uncertainty will be with us until November. However, with moderating inflation, a growing economy, rising earnings estimates, and election tailwinds looming, this booming bull market should have plenty of room to run.